I was at J. Cole's uh, Melbourne concert uh, the other day. At Margaret Court Arena, early entry ticket, lined up all day, front row. So that's the context. Um, just going to give you guys a review of like what I thought of the performance and the concert. This was my 16th, I believe, performance that I've attended um, when, so since I started attending concerts in about three years. So that's kind of the, the perspective I'm coming from and the experience I'm coming from. Uh, so here's, here's what I wrote on, Insta, on our Instagram in the review a couple of days ago. I appreciate the energy J. Cole brought to his first time performing solo in Melbourne, but I got to be honest, J. Cole, Cole's entire performance as a whole was good. Average. That's pretty much it. It feels weird not being overly enthusiastic and positive, but you can't fake the funk. After attending nearly 20 shows, you become more critical and discerning to what qualities make a great show and what makes an average show. While I'm not a huge Cole fan, like some others may be, I love and respect his music and character immensely. The supporting acts were superb, entertain were super entertaining, and overall probably one of the best supporting acts I've ever seen uh, with a lot of his dream, Dreamville crew opening for him. We got the likes of... Uh, Something Lennox, I'm so sorry. Ari Lennox, Lennox. Uh, um, female vocalist. We had Earth Gang, hey. never heard before, super dope. Amazing. Great energy, man was wearing snowboard boots on the Ooh. stage. They got fashion, bro. Bro. They're, they're fucking cool. And they were, they were, they were, their dancing reminded of, of us, mm. just fucking wilding out. They're fucking cool, man. J.I.D., what I hadn't heard. He's fucking so good. You love the Never Story. I love the Never Story. I'm f I can't wait to hear it, because he just, Bars, loved it. Mm. And then Bass, who was cool. Bassy Bass, Bassy Bass. Crowd loved him, crowd loved him all, pretty much. Um, and then obviously Cole. Now we'll continue. Now if we just talk about Cole's performance alone, the prison cell set was intriguing at first. Uh, but got old quick as you realize the visuals are largely stagnant and not interacted with at all. The lighting stayed largely the same. And I'm still not sure whether it was a smart move to have Cole's face zoomed in on the screen behind him. Now, if you compare what we did, Kanye did a Yeezus. He had a huge screen behind him, but the the visual, the, the way the screen was um, lit was way different. It was actually really interesting because it just gave him a silhouette. It was really cool. Um, much more creative way. In any case, Cole provided an energetic, lively performance for the most part. Song selection, selection was questionable, especially when he decided to do folding clothes. That's a good song. The whole song? Wait, he did the whole song? The whole song. I want to fold clothes for you. Right? I wanna make it feels good. Now I know you don't like that um, song. What? No, I do like that you song. You like that song? Yeah, I do like that song. Oh, okay. I thought you were being sarcastic. No, I do. I like, actually like that song. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, uh, um, well, and that's, at that point, Instagram, I ran out of characters on Instagram to write, so right, I maxed it out. So now I'm gonna give you guys more context. Uh, he did a lot of talking. The most talking an artist has ever done in a concert. Um, he basically talked about uh, folding clothes, he gave context to that. You know, he knows it's silly. He's very self-aware. Hmm. He knows it's a silly thing. And it's like, oh yeah, I'm just rapping about folding clothes. Because he has love for his, uh, his family and cares about them. Great. But I still question, I, I don't think you should have done the whole song, Cole. Like, you have limited time and like, you got a bit nice discography. We could have heard of something else. And only doing 10 seconds of Forbidden Fruit. As you're being what, urine. 10 seconds? He did a transition. Like he opened it. Da, da, da. I Watch took a little bit. Up. Up. And I'm and I'm like, like, took a little sip. Did I didn't hold. He it's didn't do that? such a great song. No, he didn't do that part. He did 10 seconds of it. I'm, I'm like, Cole! Shit! But, but you got to also come from it. you got to understand that Cole probably performs a lot and he probably gets sick of performing the same shit. So he'd be like, look, no one wants to hear Fallen Clothes, but I, this song is really close to me and oh. I want to I wanna perform in a full for my fans. Respect. If that's the reason, that's, that's yeah, it might be it. Mm -hmm. That's a good thing you hit. Because, yeah, a lot of artists tell me they get sick of performing the same shit. And when, like, it's like School Baker, he hates the song fucking, um, his biggest hit, Hands on the Wheel. Remember? Oh, Crush really? a bit, yeah. hands the on. Crowd loves it, he though. fucking hates it. Oh. Because he had to, because when he now? was getting famous, yeah, he says in an interview, he, he performed it so much to the point where he gets, he fucking hates performing, but he always performs, he always performs because he knows the crowd wants to hear it, but he fucking hates it. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So just, a, just an example. Fair enough. Like, that's a great point. Like, I've got to be empathetic then. Um, yeah, the, uh, 
Cole wasn't uh, it wasn't anything too special. Um, the cr- the crowd loved it though. You know, people mm. were there earlier for J Cole. Or, or sorry, yeah, people were there earlier for J Cole than they were for the weekend. And the weekend was at a bigger arena, so it was really interesting to see the audience base being different. Do you know his whole discography? Were the tracks he did that you didn't know? Because I know no, all his songs. No, uh, there were no tracks I didn't. So know. which albums did he mostly perform from, besides besides the album For Your Eyes Only? For whom he did a lot of it from uh, his recent albums. For as who you, the bell as t- you have to. For whom the bell tolls. Immortal. Deja vu. Yeah. Vil mentality. Mm-hmm. Change. Yeah. Lights please. They loved uh, it when that, he did lights please. That's from the warm up. That's yeah. his second mixtape. Yeah. Lights please sir. For now, everything just seems so right. And how you make the darkness seem so bright. I'm feeling like things gon' be alright. Lights, please, hell yeah, man. So that's a great song. Lights, please, lights, please. And then he went, stick with the older stuff, nobody's perfect. This is for all the bitch niggas that all hoes we did. The sun out at Barbado Cheese, eggs, and potato Smoking weed on the beaches My mind working like And stop analyzing the world I'm handy diamonds and pearl And vandalizing our curls Yeah, workout Workout, I fucking hate workout Oh really? Yeah man Can't get enough? Can't get enough Can't get enough So he kept the middle Was for yeah, the older so stuff cool. He did four old stuff And then he went Neighbours Fold and close, love yours, wet dreams. So back to 24. I still question wet dreams. I, uh, what? Wet dreams is amazing. Uh, I think it's a great song, but I still question it like performing live. I don't think it's a great song to perform live. Um, it's about your first time? Yeah, I mean, like, uh, what am I gonna do? I love it. I'll sing along with that shit. I fucking love that song. A Tale of Two Cities? <laughs> Oh man, that bangs. G O M D. Huge. Yeah. And then he went Born Sinner to Power Trip. So he went to the Born Sinner Power Trip. I was going to say, went to um, uh, Born Sinner, the album. Yeah. yeah. He, I was going to say, he hadn't performed anything off that album. Yet. And and then he encoded for No Role Models. Oh, yes. No, Angel. So you don't want to be safe. Born Sinner is my favorite album, or one of my favorites, yeah. um, behind his mixtapes or in front of his mixtapes. And. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty. I would have liked to hear more from Born Sinner, but maybe he's done a lot of it, like you said. That's exactly right. I feel. I think my favorite, 2014 Forest Hill Drive, is my favorite, followed by probably the Warm Up, then followed by Born Sinner. And to give you guys a wrap up, if you're a J Cole fan, if you're a big J Cole fan, you're gonna be at the concert. Mm-hmm. But if you're like, uh, like I like him, but should I get get seats? Get seats. Don't worry about waiting all day in line. Get some nice seats, hundred dollars, ninety dollars, one twenty, um, <laughs> and enjoy your time. Uh, it'll be a good experience like that, but I wouldn't invest three hundred dollars in early entry and wait all day again for J Cole unless I knew I'm getting a drastically different performance to the likes of like what Drake did or Kanye does or someone like The Weeknd does. Uh, so yeah, that's this J Cole uh, live performance review. I'm Alexander Sandals, Alexander Man. Ah! <sighs> Jungle Beats. Yeah. Okay, back when I was sleeping in my mama crib. Leave the back when I was up there in my mama crib. Paying 1700 for the rent. Money well spent. No, either put it, nigga, pay. May I fit? Had a thing for you. Even wrote the song, dreams for you. Cause I had dreams for you. Thoughts of a ring for your child and shit. You know child and shit. I'm not in the style of sick. You know cow and shit. Now I think it's on the old took a power trip. Back home, I'm grown now. When the city's my throne now. Look, same clubs that I used to get tossed out. Life got Chris gone. Still on you, still on you, my drinks spill on me, what I feel on you.